Hey, just because they're living in a fantasy world doesn't mean they always make fantastic calls. Don't ever let me give you a haircut again. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest decisions in fantasy movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at some of the biggest blunders made in the fantasy film genre that either brought a great threat upon the land or crippled our heroes in some form or another. By the way, there will be spoilers. Why some melancholy? A wondrous future lies before you. Number 10. Driving While on the Phone – Doctor Strange I'm talking tonight at a neurological society there. Before he became a master of the mystic arts, Dr. Stephen Strange was a talented yet conceited neurosurgeon who took pride in his literal handiwork. However, one fateful night while driving, Strange shifts his focus to his phone instead of the road, resulting in a devastating car wreck. <laughs> survives the crash, but his hands are crippled, effectively ending his career. While losing the use of his hands is tragic, this is something even expert drivers should be aware of. Eyes on the road at all times. Your phone call or text message can wait. Fortunately, Strange found an even better use for his hands, battling interdimensional threats with sorcery. Oh my. Number 9. Fighting over the color of a dress – Sleeping Beauty No, not pink. Make it blue. <gasps> While Princess Aurora is away in the woods, the three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, are preparing the cottage for her 16th birthday. They try to avoid using their magic wands to prevent the evil Maleficent from finding their hiding spot. But they cave and use a little magic anyway. <laughs> Things go smoothly, until Flora and Meriwether start bickering over what color Aurora's new dress should be – pink or blue. Their squabble turns into a magical duel that sends up a flare for Maleficent's spy, blowing their cover. Pink or blue doesn't matter anymore, since their petty quarrel practically delivers the poor princess to the mistress of all evil's green clutches. Now look what you've done! Number 8. Stealing the Aztec Gold Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. After taking Elizabeth on board the Black Pearl, Captain Barbosa tells her the story about the medallion she's carrying. You don't know what this is, do you? After Barbosa marooned Jack Sparrow and took over the ship, he and the crew came upon a chest of Aztec gold and pillaged all 882 pieces one of them being the medallion. So the heathen gods placed upon the gold a terrible curse. However, they ended up paying the price for their greed and were cursed to become the living dead, with the moonlight revealing their skeletal forms. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. The only way to lift the curse is to return every last piece and offer a blood tribute. Let this be a lesson to all swashbucklers. Unless you want to become a living ghost story, some treasures are best left buried. <laughs> Number 7. Feeding the Mogwai – Gremlins Having fun? Fun! <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? These fuzzy little Mogwai could be really good pets, as long as you follow three simple rules. Rule 1. Never expose them to bright light unless you want dead fuzzballs on your lawn. Rule 2. Never get them wet. Otherwise, they will multiply like rabbits. And most importantly, rule three, never ever feed them after midnight. Here we go. Maybe you guys will be quiet. Unfortunately, after rule two is broken and another batch emerges, the new little guys trick Billy Peltzer into giving them an after midnight snack. Before long, the tiny troublemakers evolve into ghoulish green gremlins and start rampaging all over town, nearly murdering everyone in sight. If your new companions can dupe you this easily, maybe you're not ready for a pet. Number 6. Keeping the Ring a Secret – The Hobbit Franchise <laughs> I've never been so glad to see anyone in my life. While on his unexpected journey, Bilbo Baggins finds a golden ring that can turn him invisible and uses it to escape the Misty Mountains and reunite with his party. 
Having been praised for his escape, he decides not to tell them about his new prize. Of course, Gandalf knew all along about Bilbo's trinket, but lets him keep it, not knowing its dark history. However, Bilbo's dishonesty raises a few red flags. Don't take me for a fool. I know you found one no. in the Goblin Tunnels, and I've kept my eye on you ever since. While somewhat innocent at first, lying was only phase one of the ring's slow corruption, as Bilbo becomes possessive of his precious. <laughs> By the time he finally parts with it, the ring has already left its mark on the poor hobbit. <laughs> Number 5. Bonding with Einan, Dragonheart <laughs> No good deed goes unpunished. Young Prince Einan is mortally wounded and is taken to a dragon, later named Draco, in the hopes of saving his life. Draco gives Einan half his heart to revive him, but only if he promises to be a just ruler. Alas, Einan appears to have been lying through his teeth as he grows into a tyrannical king. I know why you brought me the dragon slayers. You wanted them to kill him because you wanted me dead. Some believe that Draco's heart tainted Einan's, but poor Draco only wanted a stronger bond between man and dragon, and Einan was evil all along. You told me to fight, that's all! I took what I needed from you! The dragon unfortunately got his wish, because sharing a heart means that if one dies, so does the other. In the end, Draco makes amends by making the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> Number 4. Cheating Jumanji You tried to cheat? Jumanji is not a board game for the casual player. Once you start this dangerous safari, there is no escape until someone wins. One of the players, Peter, thinks he can end this by dropping the dice on the number he needs to win. Unfortunately, mystical board games do not abide by cheating, and so Peter is turned into a monkey boy for the rest of the game as punishment. Peter, your hands! Look at your hands! To be fair, he was only trying to help, but still, if you play the game, you play by the rules, no matter what even if it isn't a barrel full of monkeys. Sorry, too soon? Number 3. Forgetting the Spell, Army of Darkness Klaatu Verata Nikto Again! I got it, I got it! I know your damn words, all right? Trapped in the Middle Ages after the last movie, Ash Williams sets off to find the Necronomicon Ex Mortis so he can return home. He finally finds the book, after a hilarious trial and error. Now he just has to speak three magic words, but he can't remember the last part of the spell. Matu, Verata, mm. Necti, Nectar, Nickel. Desperate, Ash tries to fake his way through the spell with a pitiful cough, but all that does is make the dead and Ash's evil doppelganger rise again to form the titular Army of Darkness. Klaatu, Mirada, <laughs> the moral of this humorous blunder is, whether you're an actor or handling the Book of the Dead, memorize your lines. It could literally save your life. Number 2. Not Destroying the One Ring in the First Place The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring My precious. It was wrong for Bilbo to keep the One Ring, but let's not forget the Dunderhead who started it all. During the War of the Last Alliance, Isildur cuts the ring right off of Sauron's finger, destroying his physical form. However, rather than destroying the cursed jewelry for good, the ring seduces Isildur, and he keeps it instead. Destroy it! No. Not even invisibility could save the now High King from being slain by orcs, right after the ring leaves him. Because Isildur didn't end it when he had the chance, Sauron's evil loomed over Middle-earth for centuries, and the ring continued corrupting anyone who got a hold of it. Good going, your highness. Hello. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few less than fantastic dishonorable mentions. But what are the chances of that happening?
Number one, not believing Harry. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. He's back, he's back. Voldemort's back. After the Triwizard Tournament incident, the Ministry goes out of its way to demonize Harry as a liar when he talks about Voldemort's return. He stopped. Back. They nearly have him expelled from Hogwarts. Then they have Dolores Toadface Umbridge practically run the school with an iron fist, trying to tune out the lies, all because the cowardly minister could not accept reality. The truth does sink in eventually, but only after the Dark Lord nearly takes over Harry's mind. He's back! It's difficult to face reality, but wise wizards like Dumbledore know that Harry wouldn't steer us wrong. If only he trusted Harry enough to tell him how to properly destroy a horcrux. Dumbledore sends you off to find all these horcruxes, but doesn't tell you how to destroy them. Doesn't that bother you? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.